Hi everybody, April here from Infinity Crafts and today I wanted to show you this cute little Christmas card I made using some stamps from one of our new lines that we've just brought into the store in the last couple months, uh, Alta New. So I'm going to be using two of their stamp sets. The first one is called Wood Palette Background Stamp Set and the second one is called Festive Silhouette. So we're going to be using both pieces from both of those stamp sets to create this cute little card. So let's get started. So the first thing I've done is cut my background paper uh, just a eighth of an inch smaller around from a regular card base. I can I will put those measurements on the on the video for you. So I'm using right now I'm using three different ink colors: pumice stone, hickory smoke, and black soot from the Tim Holtz Distress Ink line. I like the way those three colors go together, and I wanted to make it a little bit of a realistic wood looking. So I've already pre-inked the pumice stone, put on the hickory smoke, and now I'm just gonna touch it a little bit with the black soot, and that'll hopefully give it a little bit more of a realistic look. I'm using the Mega Mount for this stamp. The Mega Mount comes from Impression Obsession, from their stamps, and they're, it's a very nice stamp set, or stamp base for when you are using these bigger stamps. It really gives you that ability to cover your whole piece. So, kind of a nice realistic looking background there. So the next thing we're going to do from that is we are going to now stamp our trees. The trees are in two colors. Peeled paint is going to be our first stamp that we're going to stamp. So I'm just inking up the tree and I like to start just a little bit off for the first one just so that it doesn't look like everything's kind of perfectly all lined up. I know this is going to be a little bit confusing to see until I take that off of my kind of scrap paper background there. I'm just going to clean my stamp and get right back here to you. I'm actually going to try one bundled sage. We'll just see how that goes. Don't worry if it's not completely perfect because we have a few embellishments and our sentiment to put on there. So if your trees aren't stamping perfectly, it'll be just fine. So I'm going to try not to reach across while I do this last one. So this one's in forest moss. All right. So now I can peel the background off just so that you can see. So I just stuck this to some scrap paper just using some removable adhesive. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So then I'm going to take my strip and stamp my sentiment on there. So this strip is just almost an inch. It's seven eighths by two and five eighths, just if you were interested and wanted to kind of know the measurements. And this stamp that I'm using, Peace, Joy, Love, actually is from uh, a Kaiser Craft stamp set. I don't have the name with me right now, but I can put that on the web if you are interested in knowing. So I'm just stamping that, and then we'll just pop that up after with some pop dots. And then next, we're going to do the little reindeer guy. So I'm taking just a piece of dark craft paper. We're gonna stamp the, and that's from this stamp set, like I said. So we're gonna, just gonna use the little reindeer head now. And we're gonna stamp him in uh, Distress Walnut Stain on the Dark Craft. Just because when we cut it out, you have a tiny little bit of border around it. And I like the way that it borders with the Dark Craft cardstock. Stamp him down. Good, perfect. Okay, and so now we need to run it through the die machine and it'll cut it out, just like as you see here on the finished card. I also just embellished his little nose with a pearl gem, and that's our card. So thank you for watching me, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to visit our website, infinitycrafts.ca.